to do my first video for the scrap timber and 30 days of sketches share. I'm also going to share a tip, a photography tip, and a hack. So give me just one moment and I will share that information. On the floor, you will notice this fancy photography studio. The lighting in this room is uneven at best and uh, it doesn't provide great full coverage. It doesn't matter where I go. So as you can see, I have one window. It's east facing that provides the majority of the light in this room. I have a floor lamp and that's a uh, OTT OTT lamp and my fan I'm not going to show it to you but it has daylight bulbs in it this little piece of ingenuity is foam core board I scored it in half broke it so that it would have an, a hinge basically then I did one strip of wood grain contact paper doesn't that look awesome? The reason I didn't do a full coverage of the, the foam board is because those white edges provide a little bit of reflective material. So we're going to talk a little bit more about bouncing light. Because of where I'm standing right now, it's getting darker coming toward me. If I need additional light on my project, when I'm shooting, I saved the rest of my foam board and I can lay it to the side to provide additional light. So I take the board, come up to the side of it, it creates this wall and that bounces light back onto my project. So just watch closely. When I remove the light, it gets a little darker when I bring it back it gets a little brighter and that's simply because the light is being bounced back to the project or to that floor <clears throat> so that is a cheap hack that anyone can do to provide a a studio to shoot your projects super easy and we're back I'm showing you now the layouts that I have completed for the first week. I won't be doing a daily video for 30 days of sketches. I will be doing a single video at the end of each week showing the layouts that I completed and the sketches and the kit. Now I had the idea to show the kit after I completed the first one. so. That's typically how I roll. I get great ideas when I'm way too far into something. So the first layout is titled Uppity Rednecks. And let me get my little information paper back on the back behind it. I will have the sketch up on the screen and I'll tell you a little bit about what I've got going on here. So for September 1, the challenge was to use stitching. And on the sketch, you can see that the stitching is done in a triangle. Um, that's, I'm not real fond of triangles. I don't know why, it's, it's a weird thing, but I just don't really like to use triangles when I'm scrapbooking. So I did my stitching in a zigzag around the, the perimeter of the layout. I used three pieces of cardstock plus scraps that was in this, the kit. The floral paper is my mind's eye bliss. I used it on the border and in the fussy cutting. The stripe is a Simple Stories basic and on the reverse is a polka dot design. The wood grain, I'm not sure, I'm not certain who made that, I have an idea, but I don't want to say it because I could be I very well be wrong. The green here and here 
is from Cheddarbox. How long has it been since you've heard that name? The Scalloped Floral is Marcella by Kay. It's a Kay and Company photo mat. And the story behind the uppity redneck title is when my husband became a bachelor, his mother gave him this bird bath. It had never been unpacked. And when we moved into our home, we decided to put the bird bath up and we were laughing about us trying to be uppity and we're rednecks. So there's that. This one, and give me just one moment. Let me get my information paper. This one is called What a Day for a Daydream. You can see the sketch on the screen. I used four pieces of cardstock. The challenge for scrap timber is black and white. The ledger paper is Amy Tangerine from Rise and Shine, 2014. The floral paper, this, is from Chicken Nitty from the collection Yippee, 2015. The green is Doodlebug Petite Prince. And I used pink cardstock. This layout, uh, the photos were from going to the art festival here in Lewiston. They shut down the entire main street. Uh, I believe it's called Center Street. And they had tents and all kinds of food and art. Artisans, handicrafts. I mean, just anything you could think of. It was a lot of fun. So that is that layout. The next layout, let me grab my information paper, is called The Great Chipmunk Hunt. On this as you can see on the sketch, the challenge is layering. I used scraps plus four pieces of cardstock. The berries and twig paper is, I'm not sure once again who uh, made that. You can't tell it, but this paper here is a really, really light geometric triangles design. It's from Sandy Line. Candy Panacci is the designer from 2007. I think it's funny because the name of, it was single-sided and the name of the paper was called Whispering Pines and there's nothing about that paper that looks whispering or pines. I also thought it was interesting that Sandy Line is in Markham, Ontario. The navy and cream stripe is from Authentique 2017, Dame 8 paper. So I believe the collection was called Dame. And the Yellow Roses is Bow Bunny, Land of Wonder. The name of the paper is Reality from 2018. And the story behind this layout is our crazy dog once literally actually saw the chipmunk. And it ran to this hose reel. So there for a while, every time we went outside, that's immediately where she went was to that hose reel because she just might see the chipmunk again. So that's our crazy dog, Kayla, looking for the chipmunk. And this last layout for week one titled Home Sweet Home. I used, the, the challenge is to use a white background. I used four pieces of cardstock and one six by six. The phone dials, petite floral, the hello paper are all from Pebbles from Me To You collection. This adhesive paper ribbon is from K and Company. And the, the story behind this layout is about these two rugs that 
I layered on our entryway and it's just I thought it was cute I saw it on Pinterest and I tried to duplicate it as best I could because our entryway is is really uh, narrow and small coming into the house but I thought it was a cute look and I decided to do that for our home that is the four layouts that I've completed for this week you're welcome to follow me on Instagram where I'll be posting daily the layouts and we will also be posting uh, our layouts daily in the 30 days of sketches Facebook group I will catch up with you again next week bye bye